Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Dynamics 365 Quick Tip with Cobalt. My name is Kate, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the power of roll-up fields in Dynamics 365. To put it simply, roll-up fields act as a calculator that automatically crunches numbers for you on a schedule. They can summarize information from multiple related records, making it easy to track important metrics. From tracking your sales pipeline to aggregating a contact's overall event revenue, there are endless possibilities with this. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to set up a field that tracks the total revenue per customer. So let's get into it. As you can see on my screen, I've already gone ahead and set this up. That is my lifetime value field here. Uh, we can see that it's aggregated all of the fulfilled orders for this customer based on the revenue. So the first thing we'll need to do is go into Power Apps, which we can access either through the app launcher in the top left corner of the screen or by going to make.powerapps.com. Once you get logged in, go ahead and go into the correct environment, go to your solutions and open up your solution where we can put our new field. On the left side navigation, search for the table where you want to put your new field. So since I wanna do this for all of the contacts in the system, I'm gonna go find my contact table. I'll expand the drop down under the contact table and go to columns, which is just another name for fields. In here, you're gonna go into new column, but I'm actually going to search for the field and show you how things were set up. So I'm gonna open my lifetime value field and let things get loaded up. First thing you're always going to add is a display name and then down under advanced options, add a schema name as well. For your data type, you're either gonna choose currency or whole number. Those are the two data types that we can do roll up fields for. Of course, if you want to do some sort of roll up across different like revenues or pricing information, you're going to use currency and anything else is going to be your whole number. Then under behavior, select roll up. And before you save the field, you're not going to be able to edit the query for that. So go ahead and save it and then you'll be able to click edit. So in the edit window for the rollup field, you're gonna be able to set up a query. So this just tells the system what to look for, what information do you wanna aggregate and how should they aggregate it? So as you can see, the source entity should already be selected to the table that you've um, added this field to. So for me, it's contact. And then under related entity is where you're gonna put your actual query. So I wanna look at all of the orders that are related to each customer. And I don't want it to be every single order. I want it to be the ones where they've actually paid the order and we have collected that revenue. So I added a parameter for status reason equals complete or paid. You can add more status re or uh, more filters under there if you need. Uh, maybe it's a particular type of order that you want to filter on. Um, there's other possibilities that you can do there. And then under aggregation, you're going to want to select the type of calculation that you want to do. So it might be sum, it could be min, it could be maximum, or it can be an average. So for me, I put that I wanted it to sum up the value that is in the total amount field on order records. When you're finished, click save and close, and then go ahead and save and publish your changes in Power Apps. And you'll also need to add the field to a form if you want it to be visible on the contact form like it is here. That's all for our quick tip today. If you have any questions, please reach out or let us know in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about Cobalt's offerings in general, feel free to reach out to sales at cobalt.net. Thanks.